Three years ago, I couldn't run one kilometer. I weighed 250 pounds. Today, for the first time in my life, complete a 100 kilometer race, and that's pretty exciting for me. I'm out here uh, driving the course the night before my 100K. Do I get a feel for what I'm gonna do? I'm also dropping off all the stuff at my different aid stations. I got four official aid stations on the way. Make sure I know the distance between each, uh, the curbs, how they're gonna be, road closures. So I'm exploring my course right now. 4.30 a.m., my first 100K. I'm out the door, let's go. Beautiful morning, foggy morning. Ten kilometers, baby. Loving the sunrise. Beautiful. Twenty kilometers down, just outside of La Brokery, Manitoba. Turning into a gorgeous day. Thirty kilometers. Just had my first doubts creep into my mind. Can I do this? Why am I doing this? Are you sure this was a good idea, Rob? But I am enjoying myself. 100K seems like a lot. Second aid station. Whoa, let's go, baby. 40K in. I had just what I needed just now. I had a aid station inside a house, reloaded my water, steel cut oats, strawberries, maple syrup, yogurt. Oh, it was so good. So good. And now I'm off, off to Lorette. Okay, so this bird here has been following me for a mile. This bird's been following me for a mile. 50K halfway done. My parents just came out and drove and I dropped off some blueberry crumble, some pasta, gluten-free lasagna, Vaseline, sunscreen, water. Oh, it was just exactly what the doctor ordered. I'm happy. I love the halfway point because it's a mental obstacle. You're past that. Now you're chipping away at the balance. Right, so every mile you do now chips away at what's left. So it's a great mental feeling to be past halfway just outside of Lorette, Manitoba. 60K in, feel pretty good. The doubts have disappeared. Now it's a sad realization that it's gonna take whatever time it's gonna take. And I'm enjoying myself out here. 40 kilometers from home, let's go. 70 kilometers done. The effort level remains the same, just the pace has slowed down a bit. I know I'm gonna make it. Not too sure what the time will be, but surprisingly still moving decently out here. Also enjoying my day, but it is hot. Someone turn up the cloud cover for me, please. 80 kilometers, 20 kilometers left. That's it. That's a half marathon. I did 26 of those in 13 days in New Brunswick last month. I can certainly do one more. Let's go. Look at this, my family came out. Yeah. 90K, 10K left. My brother always says a 100K race is a 90K jog followed by a 10K sprint. Three years ago, I couldn't run one kilometer. I couldn't do it. I weighed 250 pounds, but I always wanted to do 100K. Started setting some goals. My goal wasn't to run 100K. My goals were to do one kilometer, then to do two, then to do a half, then to do a marathon. Just kept moving the goalposts. Today, for the first time in my life, I'm gonna complete a 100 kilometer race, and that's pretty exciting for me. As I approach the end here, I kind of share with you why, why, Rob? Why would you run 100K by yourself? For me, it was about giving myself a gift. This week will be my two year sober anniversary. I want to reward myself with something special because I know it's not easy what I did, and pushing myself for something like this gives you great satisfaction something that I'll be able to cherish forever. It's a gift to myself. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I did it.